Hey guys, this is Sophie. I know recently I haven't done much with this channel, and in general all I've really done is put time lapses on here, and as proud as I am of those time lapses, I thought it was about time I shook things up a bit. And recently I've been watching a bunch of art videos, and these artists that I watch on YouTube, they inspire me so much, and they talk about their painting and the way they do their art and generally things relating to art but also to their lives and to the things that inspire them and how they find inspiration and how they work on their their craft and how they improve themselves and their art and the more I watch of it the more I wanted to do something similar with my channel. I've noticed that for the most part there's a lot of artists on YouTube who do things like this there's Happy D, who is one of my absolute favourites, and if you don't know her, you should definitely check her out. She's fantastic. Happy D artist. Um, there's Happy, there's Lemmy, there's a couple of other ones that I know. But not many of them are out there that do this sort of thing for 3D. And as much as I love the sort of traditional painting and traditional colouring and traditional inking videos and time lapses and that, I do feel a sort of sadness that there's not more out there of 3D because a lot of the things that they say and a lot of the things that they do can be applied to the life of a 3D artist but most of it can't. <laughs> when they're talking about what pens they like, what pencils they like, what paint they like, what they do with their things, their studio set up with canvases and paint jars and all that that doesn't really apply to the 3D art world and as much as I like watching them talk about those things and watching their vlogs and listening to them discuss their studios it's not the same as having people out there who do the same kind of art that I do and I find that when I watch these artists I get a lot of little nuggets of wisdom things that they say, things they do and I can apply those things to my art quite easily up until a point and I feel like a lot of people might miss that step between the 3D and the 2D art worlds, and I can't blame them for that. And so I wanted to bring my channel forward a step. I wanted to be one of those artists that has an open dialogue with their community, and that's really important to me actually. The more I watch these videos, the more I, I look at the way the artists interact with their community, the more I want that for my community. I want to have conversations about art, I want to have dialogue about different points of view of art and different ways to achieve art. And I also feel like when I watch certain artists on YouTube, one of the ones that actually does do 3D, who does narration over his time lapses, over his uh, videos over his sculpts or whatever. It's actually Danny Mac and he's amazing. I know that when I watched his videos one of the things he said really stuck with me to the point that a year or so later I still think about it and it, it motivates me to keep moving and what he said was that when he creates this sculpt if he does his faces and that his characters it always looks shit for a while and that's a total paraphrase, I don't remember the exact words, but he said that it always looks bad at first and then it gets better. And that's something that's really motivated me to look at the model I am sculpting, see that it looks terrible and keep going until it looks better. But something that made me quite sad is that he's one of the few that are on there. And I looked for more and there's just not many out there, or maybe I just didn't find them. So hey, if you know some great 3D artists who also do narration over their art, please let me know, tell me down in the comments, I want to hear about this, recommend me some people. But I noticed that there's not many of them out there, and I get so much information from the artists that I watch, I wanted to put some of that back out into the world, and something that I'm a hearty believer in is that when you're sitting there and you think about something that doesn't exist, you should create it, because there's probably going to be someone else out there that wishes that thing exists. So, my channel is getting a bit of a rejig. Instead of having intensely long time lapses, including everything that I do in my models, I'm going to be doing some shorter time lapses for the different stages, really, of the model. I'm going to be doing the basic sculpt, probably in the first part or so, then it'll be the texturing and the retopology stage, and then after that there'll be how it went from the texturing and the retopology to a rigged model and the final render. I'm going to try and keep it a lot briefer than it has been, instead of half an hour of time lapse, it's going to be a lot more condensed, 
I'm gonna cut out the bits where I'm sort of screwing around until I figure out what I've got going on. I spent a lot of time on my birch render messing around with weight painting. I found weight painting really difficult, but once I got it, it was much easier. So a lot of that will be condensed down into just the creation of the weight paint rather than the screwing around process of learning. So what we're gonna do is while we have these time lapses running, I'm gonna talk about things. I'm gonna talk about art, I'm gonna talk about design, I'm gonna talk about ideas, I'm gonna have a conversation with you. We're gonna have a proper conversation. And how does that sound? I want you guys to comment, I want you to talk to me, I want you to tell me what you think about the things that I say, and I want to have a dialogue. I want to apply to you guys, I want to be in that way. So each video I'm going to pick a topic to talk about. Sometimes it'll be related directly to the time lapse you're watching, or maybe I'll talk about something completely different. Maybe I'll talk about my personal workflow. Maybe I'll talk about something related to the general spectrum of art. I will talk about something in the general vicinity. And then we're going to have a conversation about it. And if there's something you'd really like me to talk about, even if you have nothing to do with the video or ask maybe my favourite video games or my favourite sources of inspiration, or those things that I grew up with that made me want to do the things that I do now, things like Tomb Raider, or Monkey Island, or playing PlayStation 2 games. Anything like that I'm happy to talk about, and, and if you want me to talk about something like that, just leave me a comment, let me know what you want me to talk about, just ask, and I will talk about it. I'm also thinking maybe I will do some art vlogs, I will talk about my studio setup, I'll talk about any technology that I have that's new. I'm definitely going to be talking about add-ons or plugins that I get that are probably paid or just things that I found online for Blender or whatever. I really want to open a proper dialogue up with my subscribers. I want to get people talking. I want to get people enthused and engaged. I want to open some things up on my Patreon, maybe have some critique sessions, maybe some critique groupings. I really want to get talking to you guys about the things that inspire me and get me talking and passionate. Anyway, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, you should totally do that because I'm always posting over there. My art tends to go over there before the time lapse shows up on my channel. So, follow me on Twitter, check out my Patreon if you're interested, check out my Gumroad if you're interested, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for listening to my ramble, and I love you all. Bye-bye.